We turn our attention to the coronavirus. The state house updating its schedule for the week due to cases and potential cases among members of the delegation and staff. Yes, definitely going around. As a result, the house will technically be in session this week, but no voting will take place. Floor votes will start back up next week. Meantime, we are expecting new state coronavirus numbers Wednesday as we wait. Here's where things stand as of Friday. The state reported 37,114 new cases, averaging out to more than 18,000 cases a day. Also this week, the White House will begin to mail Americans free COVID-19 test kits. The federal website will start accepting orders on Wednesday. The Omicron variant has changed a lot of what we thought we knew about COVID. And as more people are testing positive, that is triggering new questions as well. Our Dr. Frank with George joins us back here live to answer more of your questions submitted through clickondetroit.com. Doctor? Hey, Karen and Devin. Yeah, so Monica asks, why is the vaccine being pushed so much while natural immunity isn't being taken into account? Well, Monica, the answer is natural immunity is useful against COVID. But compared to getting a vaccine, the level of protection is just not as predictable. Current thinking is basically that people who have milder infections have a less robust immune response compared to people who have a severe infection. And because we don't know how much natural protection a person might have or how long it's going to last, it's really difficult to count on it to protect someone against developing more severe illness if they become reinfected. Now, here are some more of your questions. Tamika asks, when I received a COVID test from a hospital drive through they stuck the nasal Q-tip past the back of my nasal passage. When I see the WDIV news coverage, they appear to only use the nasal Q-tip to swipe around the front of the nasal passage. Is it possible the test results are being skewed because of the difference in how the tests are being administered? The location of the specimen will affect the chance of detecting the virus. The difference you're seeing is in home tests compared to hospital-performed PCR tests. Home tests only use a sample from the mid-nose area. In the hospital, we generally collect samples from the area deeper inside and behind the nose. Now, Ray asks, at the beginning of the pandemic, there was a lot of talk about herd immunity helping to get rid of COVID. Now that the very contagious Omicron is here, how come we don't hear more about herd immunity being a process to end it? Herd immunity involves having a large enough percentage of a population immune so an infection is unlikely to spread. Omicron changes two elements of what we need for herd immunity, one for the better, the other the worse. Because so many people are being infected, there will be wider spread immunity in general, and depending on the quality and durability of that immunity, it could be helpful. However, because Omicron is so much more contagious, you would need a higher proportion of people to be immune to provide herd immunity. In other words, it's harder to get to that level. The concept of herd immunity is still valid, but with the changes that have occurred in the past two years, it's an impractically moving target. Now, finally, a viewer named Robert asks, I found out yesterday that I'm infected. What can a person do besides isolate? Are there over-the-counter drugs that will help defeat this virus? So, Robert, unfortunately, the answer is no. Over-the-counter medications can be used to control some of the symptoms, like cough or fever, but they're not going to stop the virus. Now, depending on your risk factors, though, you might be eligible for medications that can stop the virus, like monoclonal antibodies or the pills Paxlovid or Molnupiravir. But you need to call your doctor to see if you qualify. Back to you. As always, we appreciate it. Thank you, Doc.